I'm gonna teach you three easy methods to summarize a YouTube video using AI. The first method is using a plugin called vidIQ. I've already got it installed here, but at the end of the video, I'll teach you how to install it. You can see here, we're on one of my videos on how to forward an email in Outlook. And on the right hand side, we have vidIQ that can give you things like the engagement as well as some summaries of that video an overview of that person's channel, as well as this button called AI Coach. In AI Coach, you can see here, it gives you a range of different prompts. The third one is summarize this video. If we select on that, vidIQ is gonna think about that video for a couple of, se uh, couple of seconds, and then it's gonna give you a summary of that video that you can go ahead and read through. And then of course, down the bottom, you can give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or copy. You also have a text box that you can input and ask more questions. Obviously, this is a tutorial video, so I'm gonna ask it to give me a step-by-step -step guide from the video. When I ask it to give me a step-by-step -step guide from the video, it's quite cool that you can have a conversation with vidIQ uh, AI, which now, after a few seconds it takes to analyze the video, should give us the step-by-step -step options of how to do whatever you're wanting to learn. And then, of course, down the bottom, you can go ahead and thumbs up, thumbs down, copy, or ask it more questions about that video. This is really cool because it, you can do it inside of the web browser with the video next to you where you can scrub through and read comments or you know get it within the context of that page that you're on. Another way of doing this inside of the web browser is using the Edge web browser and Copilot. Have you, I do wanna let you know that as I'm talking about this feature, I do work for Microsoft, but I find this to be super, super handy. So we're on a Edge browser on a Mac right now and in the top right hand corner, you have the Copilot button. And once I open this guy up, it gives me the prompt straight, uh, straight away to summarize this video that I'm gonna select on. And again, you'll see that it's starting to produce an answer and a summary of that video. Very cool that it automatically has started listing out all of the steps. Um, of course, down the bottom, you can do those similar things like uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, share, or copy. It also gives you a few prompts or questions you can ask. And of course, you can ask more questions down the bottom here as well. This is really nice because it keeps it all within the context of that web browser. So I find that super cool. The third way of doing this is actually using Google's uh, Gemini. So we're gonna head over to gemini.google.com. I'll close Copilot for now. And then I'm gonna ask it to summarize this video and I'm gonna paste in that YouTube URL and go enter. The reason Gemini can do it from the browser and a tool like ChatGPT can't is because Google owns both Gemini and YouTube, so it gets the YouTube plugin to get you some information from that video, so it works quite well. Uh, and then of course with Gemini, you can go ahead and ask it questions as well. One more time, I'm gonna say provide the step-by-step -step guide and then it's gonna to connect to YouTube and then it's gonna start providing information, giving you the ability to talk uh, and ask questions back to the AI tools. So there are three ways that you can very easily create a summary from a YouTube video, either using vidIQ, Copilot on an Edge web browser or Gemini uh, from Google. Now let's learn how to install the vidIQ plugin. So I'm gonna X out of here and I'm just gonna quickly delete it as well. I'm gonna teach you first how to install the plugin on Edge, and then I'll teach you how to do it on Google Chrome too. So in the taskbar here, I'm gonna select on our extensions options, then I'm gonna select on get extensions for Microsoft Edge. From here, I'm simply gonna type in vidIQ, find the extension here, which is vidIQ Vision for YouTube, and select on get. Then I'm gonna go add extension, and then in a couple of seconds, it'll download, it'll tell me that it is installed, and off we go. Um, what I wanna do to make sure it's here all the Welcome time to is I'm gonna select on the extension options, and then I'm gonna pin vidIQ here, so I can go ahead and make sure it's on all the time. And then when I restart this web in browser, video, I'm gonna teach vidIQ will automatically pop up. Now let's go do this in Google Chrome. We're on Google Chrome, and I'm gonna select on the ellipses in the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to about halfway through where it says extensions, and then I'm gonna select on visit the Chrome Web Store. So very similar to what we just did on Edge. Then I'm gonna type in vidIQ, hit enter, and then install the same vidIQ vision for YouTube, and then simply select on add to Chrome, select on add extension, give it a couple of seconds to install. Uh, you wanna go ahead and sign in, so you will have to create an account. 
This worked on my other web browser because I already had an account, but pretend you've created an account for now, I'll go ahead and sign up. And then once you've signed up for your vidIQ account, you will have to select on the login button or sign up for the first time if you didn't create it. I'm gonna select on login. You get this, you, um, uh, you will get this sign saying success and it's gonna direct you back to YouTube. And then you see vidIQ has been installed on your Google Chrome extension. And there you have it. Those are three ways that you can easily summarize videos from YouTube using AI. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving the thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.